okay guys welcome back to class um in this video we're going to be talking about the kind of trader that we have what kind of trader are you we're, we're rounding up this lesson we're getting to the end of this class and uh, from this point onward after this very class and probably the, uh, this video and the very next video should mark the end of these lessons but after that our journey still continues because i'll be mentoring you through your trading program i mean through your entire um, trading journey until you are comfortable enough to trade on your own without guidance which i'm sure is going to be in a while but in the meantime i need you to prepare to start trading so you are going to do these things number one you are going to go register your trading account i've given you the link already to register on both bd suisse and uh, uh, Handtech. I recommend BD Swiss. I highly recommend BD Swiss if you are trading at this time of the year. But even if you want to do Handtech, the local, I mean, African uh, brand, that's fine. You can register with Handtech as well. Okay. Now, um, first, you are going to register. Secondly, you are going to start saving up. Even if you don't have the fund right now, it's okay. We are going to start saving up to fund your account. Save up to fund your account. Now, you are expected to fund, I expect you to be able to fund your account with at least $200 to $500. $200 is about $73,000. $500 is about $184,000 $183,000 or thereabout. So this is not too much. So I expect you to be able to raise this amount to fund your account. Now, this money you are raising is your own money. Nobody is collecting money from you. You are going to fund the trading account that you are registering at this point with it. It's going to be in your trading account. You are going to trade with it. But first, before you start trading with this, you are going to demo trade, which is number three. Which, that's why I say you should save up in the meantime. So demo trade. The account you are going to register right now at this point already has some fund on it, as much as $10,000 play money. Okay? You cannot withdraw this money. You can't withdraw it. Or you can trade with it you can use it to practice what you have learned take trades close those trades lose the money in fact empty the ten thousand dollar account as you are practicing if possible and then you can ask for a refill again for instance if you are using bd i mean read bd swiss you can ask them to refund it and if you are using any other broker you can simply just go to your mt4 and sign up for a new demo account okay keep signing up for a new demo account as many times as you want but bd swiss does not allow you to sign up for multiple accounts you can only have one account but you can refill that account as many times as you want so if you if you if you lose all the ten thousand dollars that your account came with and you need to you need more funds you simply ask them to credit the demo account again or just inform me i will inform if you are registered under me i will still be your account manager just let me know your account is empty and you need to fund it again your demo account is empty and you want it funded even if it is within one day that you finish the ten thousand dollars nobody's going to arrest you just tell me and then we will see how we can refund your account back to ten thousand dollars again and you can start practicing all over again so the idea is for you to get a feel of how the trading platform is now when you are able to trade comfortably on the demo account then you can start trading on your live account which is where your money now comes to play now if you are making profit on your demo account even if you raise this ten thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars you are not allowed to withdraw one dollar from there you can't even withdraw a cent from that money okay so even if you lose the money that's fine it's not your money if you make money on top of it that's fine you cannot withdraw it in fact i have raised five thousand dollar demo account to over a hundred thousand several times you know you know testing out some of my strategy when i'm testing out my strategies so as a result of that you can demo and practice as long as you want on the demo account which is fine but it is not the same as trading with live money okay when you are trading with the demo account it's easy for you to put your emotions in check and say hey, no big deal i'll wait for my stop loss to be hit or i want my tp i want my trade to get to my tp and all that and all that but when you are trading with a live account because you know it's your own money your emotion seems to come to play okay so as a result of that you may get carried away or get distracted sometimes and it might result in some level of um short profit which means where you would have made hundred dollars you end up making closing it at twenty dollars or fifteen dollars because you are scared that you may turn around you know you took a trade 
it went up as much as $45 and then it starts dropping, 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 dropping back to $15 and then you just get scared. You say, ah, let me not lose all my money and you close the trade. No, it might just be a minor retracement that will continue all the way to your uh, original target that would have given you 100 pips, okay? So that is why we recommend that after demo trading for a while, maximum a few weeks, two weeks, maximum three weeks, you should be able to go onto live account and actually use a live money so that you can put your emotions at check. There's nothing that controls your emotion like trading with live money. Yes, you might end up blowing your account. In fact, I always tell my students, you will blow your account. It is natural in Forex to lose your money. Yes. So that's why we always say in the beginning of Forex that when you're trading Forex, especially as a novice, don't trade with a money you cannot afford to lose. That is the truth. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Before I get to this, before I got to this point, I've lost several hundreds of thousands of naira to Forex. In fact, I've lost, I've lost thousands of dollars to Forex, thousands of live money. I'm not talking about demo money, I'm talking of live money. I've traded successfully on demo for a while, and then I went on demo, I mean, I went on live, and I was feeling like a king, and I blew my account several times, okay? So all of this is helping to build you up as a trader. So you are gonna to have to demo trade for a while, and then after that, you are going to go live. Sorry, number four. Sorry, I forgot my one, two, three. Number four, you are going to go live. When we say go live, it means start trading on your live account and make profits. Start trading on your live account and make profit. And at this point, I'm going to be at your beck and call. I'll be supporting you throughout. I'll be supporting you with mentoring. I'll be supporting you with calls. I'll be supporting you on the on WhatsApp. I'll be supporting you on Telegram. I'll be supporting you even with signals, free signals. You don't have to pay for some of them. There are some free signals. I provide free signal services too. I have a channel where I provide free signal service. I'm sure some of you are already in the channel. And then I also have a channel where I provide paid signal. Now, if you if you start trading maybe you use the, the free signal for a while and you make little little profit and you think ah, i think i can grow i need to grow my account i need to you know make more money i need to feel you know feel the feel feel the 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 vibe of forex then you you could want to subscribe to a live i mean a de, i mean a, a vip uh signal service where i provide more signals more accurate signals at least you can conveniently get between a thousand two thousand to four thousand pips every month as profit and that's a lot of money if you are trading on this kind of account and you get four thousand pips you could grow this account from two hundred dollars to maybe six five hundred to six hundred dollars or maybe three hundred dollars to four hundred dollars in a month okay depending on your dedication okay now on your live as well i also provide what i call copy trading which means you don't have to trade by yourself you do not actually take the trades yourself you keep practicing on your demo account you keep practicing on your demo account while you copy my own trades which means every trade that i take you can copy the exact trade that i'm taking i also provide account management as well which means you fund your account you give me the login the mt4 login not the um your broker port, uh, portal login just the mt4 login i will log in on mt4 and i'll be trading with your account okay so as your account grows we share profit of course i make money from you as well so whatever profits you we make on the account at the end of the week we share it equally but my account management service is actually um, a little bit stricter than copy trading because i don't have all the time okay to manage accounts so i have i only manage limited accounts at a time apart from my own account i still have a couple of accounts that i'm currently managing and i'm going to have some more so before i can take account management i would have to know beforehand and i would have to know and in fact, I don't manage account that is less than $1,000. That is one. Any account that is less than $1,000, I don't touch it. That's one. Secondly, when I manage account, you pay me a sign-up fee. A sign-up fee of $100, which is like $37,000 or thereabout. Pay me a sign-up fee of $100. One-time payment is non-refundable fee. One-time payment, $37,000 and then we share profits usually i will take 40 percent or maybe depending on your negotiation power 30 percent of the profit and you can keep the 70 percent of the profit and then we'll keep growing accounts like that so that is how i work and that is what i work with so this is the layout of what you will be doing okay as a trader first i'm going to start with registration you register if you have not registered already pause this video right now go back to whatsapp scroll through to where i post in fact i'm going to post the link again right now go back to whatsapp get the link go and register 
rec I recommend registering on BD Swiss. Go and register on BD Swiss. Then start saving up for two, your $200 or $500. If you have the funds already, congratulations. Fund your account immediately. Don't worry. Just fund your account. Don't trade with it. Just fund it. Let the money be there. Know that, okay, I have $200 here ready to trade. So let me go and practice demo quickly. Let me, you know, it will ginger you to work better on your demo so that you can come and trade live. And then I'll... You can now go live and I will provide you support all the way, okay? So this is what we're going to do. Now, let's get back to talking about what kind of trader you are. Now, there are different categories of traders that, are, that we have in Forex, okay? There are different categories of traders that we have in Forex. We have the short-term people and we have the long-term traders, the short-term traders and the long-term traders. Now, the short-term traders fall under two categories, the scalpers, and the day traders okay scalpers and day traders now scalpers trade on very very small time frame one minute five minutes maximum 15 minutes they are trading on very small time frame they want to close their trades in a matter of five minutes ten minutes 20 minutes maximum you cannot they, will, they don't want to leave a trade running for a whole day no scalpers don't want to do that and so we have scalpers now those people trade with larger lot sizes we've talked about lot sizes so you should understand what i mean when i say larger lot sizes they trade with larger lot sizes than is ideal for their account size that's where you have somebody who has a hundred dollar in his account trading with 0.05 lot size that is a lot size that normally would have been ideal for a 500 dollar account but he's trading with that because he wants to grow his account fast or So because he wants to grow his account fast, he's trying to trade uh, with larger lot size. So you don't want, okay, you may want to be a scalper, that's fine, depending on your personality, okay, depending on your personality. Listen, in Forex, your personality matters a lot too because that is what your emotion is tied to, okay, your emotion is tied to your personality. There are people that no matter what happens to them, they cannot cry. Their fathers died, they will not cry. Their mothers died, they will not cry. Small thing, big thing. No matter what happens, they don't feel it, okay? There are people like that. Now, there are also some other people that are ordinarily watching a movie, they are shedding tears. Hmm? Somebody died in a movie, oh, he's even acting, oh, they are shedding tears. Those kind of people that cannot watch Telemundo, that cannot watch z World, that if they are watching z World, like they have the whole handkerchief in one hand and grab the hand of their boyfriend or husband or fiancé or girlfriend in one corner, you know dig their nails into the guys and every time there's a small emotion yes very emotional people so your personality would determine how successful you are in forex as a trader and what kind of trader you end up being so if you're such a person that you're not very patient like um i have a friend who, can, who doesn't like to leave a trade running for more than one day okay there are people like that so if you have a friend or if you are that kind of person then you have your own kind of trade and there are also people who are patient enough to leave their trades running even for a whole year yes i know someone who leaves a trade running for months he takes a trade in january and closes it maybe in june or july or april yes there are people like that too so it all depends on you now the fact that you're a short-term trader or a long-term trader does not impact much on the profits you make okay it doesn't impact so much on the profits you make what do i mean by that in a day for instance most currency pairs will move between 50 to 100 pips a few will move a little above 100 to maybe about 170 pips and very minute number of them will move above 170 pips okay so even if within a day you want to be a scalper or an interday trader or a day trader and you trade and make all the movements in a day that's 170 pips or maximum 200 pips okay now somebody who is trading in a long term you end up achieving the same thing as the person who is trading on a long term because the guy is going to have accumulated profit okay don't worry uh, when i switch over to the meta trader 4 i will show you what it means to trade long term and short term shortly now so we have scalpers we have day traders these are both short term traders okay now long term traders we have position traders and swing traders now swing traders in fact i should put swing before position 
I should put swing before position. I don't know why I didn't put swing before position. Uh, let me switch that. So I have scalpers, day, or intraday as the case may be. Then swing, and then position. This is the order. Now these are the longest, this is the second longest, these are the, the second shortest, and these are the shortest of them. These ones trade within a day, within hours rather, within hours. This ones trade within a day, or maximum a few days. This ones trade in weeks to a few months. And these ones trade in months to as much as a year. Okay, so they trade as much as a month to up to a year. So what they are simply doing is they just take a trade and they leave it there and they keep it running. The next day they come, they look for another position, they see another opportunity, they take another trade and they leave it running. The next week they come, they see another opportunity, they take another trade. Now they have three trades and they leave it running. The next year, they, the next two weeks they come, they see another opportunity, they take the trade again and they keep it running. So they just keep taking trades and keep it running like that. And then six months later, seven months later, they finally, all the ones that finally start hitting their profit. Maybe this one gets to 2,500 pips. This one has reached 7,000 pips. This one has reached 15,000 pips. Yes, it's possible. This one has reached 42,000 pips. So, and then they just come and start closing them. Close this one at 42,000 pips. Leave the others running. By the time this one gets to 30,000 pips, they close it at 30,000 pips and leave the other two running. And then they have taken some other positions again. In so that is how they work. It's not as if they don't take trades or they don't check their market often. They might actually be checking almost every day or every other day or twice or three times a week or maybe every week or maybe a couple of times in a month. But when they take their trades, that single trade can run for the next six months to one year to even two years until they are satisfied with their, until their uh, indicators tell them that the trade is tired of going in that direction. They will not get out of that trade. They just keep milking it all the way to the end of it. So this is what trading in this direction i mean a position traders look like okay so we have scalpers that trade within hours within a few minutes to an hour and their time frame is usually from one minute that's m1 to 15 minutes and then you have intraday traders who trade between 15 minutes and four hours and you have swing traders who trade from four hours to maybe daily maximum weekly and then you have position traders who do from weekly to monthly and then maybe annually as well yearly okay so this is the types of traders that we have now how do you fall into this category if you are a very patient person for instance i am a swing trader i'm not a position trader i don't have the patience for months or for years but i have the patience to hold a trade for three weeks for a month maybe even for two months i have trades or in fact i have a trade that has been running for over three weeks right now and it's doing well but i'm still not going to close it yet because it hasn't reached where i'm going to okay so we all have our personality and then i have friends who don't have that kind of patience for instance i have a scalper friend who makes a killing as in makes serious killing there was a case the guy is right here in lagos nigeria there was a case of his trade that he he bought a car how how did he get the car he had a car already the car developed issue on the road he was driving in the street of lagos the car developed an issue and he packed and called his mechanic who asked him some few questions he answered the question the guy now said okay he is far away from there but you should see another mechanic the other mechanic came and checked the car and told him that the brain box of the car is damaged blah 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 they have to do this they have to do that the guy was so angry he looked around and saw a car stand somewhere very lovely cars and he walked into the car stand he had his laptop inside his car and he walked into the car stand and looked at the cars on the stand and picked the car and asked them how much is this car they told him the price he just told them to give him a minute he went into back into the old car carried his laptop went to the car stand i sat down in their reception point there and told them that he's waiting for something that as soon as he's ready he will call them and he sat down there, opened his laptop, connected to the internet, and traded right there and made the money for that car. 
do you understand it's not as if he didn't have the money he had the money in his account but he earned the money for that car on that spot first then he now transferred the money from his account to pay for the car and withdrew his winning back to his account so that is what a trader can do and that is within a few minutes okay now there are some instruments that do that there are some commodities that move that fast okay and at the same time as well as much as you can make a lot of money with those especially uh um pairs like exotic pairs there are some exotic pairs that you can make thousands of dollars in a single month gold for instance now in just uh in the matter of 30 30 20 30 minutes you can make a lot of money look at bitcoin just last week or two weeks ago bitcoin was barely about four thousand dollars today bitcoin is about thirteen thousand dollars yes one bitcoin bitcoin went over one thousand percent increase so imagine if somebody was trading Bitcoin and he saw that move and entered the trade and sat down in that place for the next three hours and the, the Bitcoin went from, one th from a, let's say about $10,000 to $12,000. That is a lot of money the person has made on one single trade. So it is very possible and people are, people are doing it and you can actually do it. With time you can do it. Honestly, I have to be very sincere. I have not reached the level of this my guy that I just told you about. But I'm getting there by God's grace. So, so it's gradually, it's gradually. You grow into He's a veteran in Forex. He's been at it for years, like years. His entire life is, you know, tied around Forex. That's all he does. That's all he knows. He sleeps Forex, eats Forex, drinks Forex. He doesn't even have time to teach anybody anything. He focuses 247 on his trades and he's a scalper. So he doesn't even have time for this thing I am doing. I'm only doing this because I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a swing trader, a position trader. Which means when I'm not, I don't have to be on my system 247 to trade. I can do other things. I can do other businesses. If I have other businesses that I do, okay, but though Forex is one of my major businesses, but I still have other businesses that I do. Okay, so these are the types of traders that we have, and this is how you can be one of them. Now, in the next video, we're going to be talking about um, how, I mean, before you get into trading, what and what and what do you need to do? What are the rituals you need to do? What are the sacrifices you need to do? Yes, of course, there are rituals and sacrifices. We'll talk about them in the next video. So, um, this video is pretty long. I'm going to stop it right here. But on the next video, I am going to start with, in fact, let me just do that right here now. So, if I switch over to MT4 in a bit. So if I switch over to MT4 here, let me see. Um, okay, so I was talking about types of traders and I said that depending on the kind of trader that you are, you can actually be um, making, uh, you can be on a trade for a very long time and you'll be making uh, about the same thing as somebody who has been buying and selling in this same trade every day or daily so let me remove this indicator down here okay the indicator is out and let's get back to chat okay so right now i'm looking at a one hour time frame and on my one hour it's showing me that my trade had been going down that is a downtrend this is a downtrend right now and then currently it's retracing a little okay that's what my one hour is telling me but if i move to a smaller time frame let's say i switch to uh, five minutes for instance now five minutes is showing me that i am in, a, in an uptrend you know why i say it's, uh, it's an uptrend we talked about moving averages i mean indicators and how they work you can see from the moving average line up now that we are entering an uptrend right now okay it's 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 uh, it's, it's negating what we saw on the one hour time frame and if i switch to a larger time frame let's say i switch to weekly time frame now weekly time frame did not even see the uptrend at all it's simply seeing a complete downtrend as you can see here in this uh, screen here showing me a complete downtrend in fact it's not even a major retracement here as you see at this corner just a small retracement that is already going back down so and if i was on a monthly time frame i'll be seeing the same thing like in fact the down the downward movement just actually started it has not it has not even go far i mean it hasn't even gone far it just started okay it's just the beginning of a heavy downtrend so that's why somebody can be in this trade for instance took this trade up here if i took this trade up here maybe at this cross crossover here i take a sell here 
I take a cell here and I am coming down and it gets to this point. I look at my moving averages and they still have not, and it's going back. I look at my moving averages, they are not telling me to go to get out of the trade. I stick to this trade. Right now, I'll be looking at from this point, I mean from this point to this point right now. And what I'm seeing here is 0 0.9405. If we try to calculate how many pips that will be, 0 0.9405, 9405, I'm trying to use a calculator here, minus where it currently is right now, 0 0.69512. Okay, and I click to see what. Right now, this trade is at 2,453 pips. 2,453 pips right now. And as it is going, it might actually get to as much as 12,000 pips. As it is going, if you, if you keep it going. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit. But at least, it will still double or probably even triple the current movement right now. Because the move is still heavy, as you can see now. It's obvious that... 50 moving average just crossed over 200 and retested. Uh, 14 and 50 are still far apart. We don't even know where 800 is. It's so far away we can't even find it around, which means the move is a heavy down movement. So that, let me scroll in here. As you can see, do you see that? So you can see from here now that there's nothing stopping this trade right now currently from getting to as far as this point which is 0 0.50. So imagine I started from 0 0.9 something. Okay, up here. From 0 0.94 to 0 0.47. That is, that is over, over 6,000 pips. Yeah, over 5,000 pips. So this is what a swing trader would earn. While if I was trading on a smaller time frame, let me switch back to a smaller time frame. If I was trading on a smaller, smaller time frame, say one hour for instance now, on this move, on this singular move here, I will be getting, I will be trading maybe immediately after this cross, I wait for this retracement, I enter here, I'll be trading from here to when this cross occurred again at this point, which is somewhere here. So if I check here now, let me calculate how many pips I have there. I'm looking at 68655 to 6991, okay? 6991 from 6866 that's about 130 pips can you see that that's about 130 pips or 133 pips only so this massive move that you see here is 133 pips on a small time frame but if we look at a bigger time frame about the same move can give us as much as 5000 to 6000 pips this same distance okay so that is why some people can be in a trade for a very long time and not worry about what anybody is saying or how the chart is looking until he gets to its target all right this is in an extremely long video and very boring i'm very very sure it's very boring but please patiently watch through it in the next video we're going to do a little bit of uh, a little bit more interesting thing but it's also a little bit boring anyway but that doesn't mean you shouldn't see that video too the next video is very very important see you in the next video and thank you for watching this